Dear students, now I will explain you assignment problem with an example. Assignment problem can be solved in many methods. The first method is type 1. This is the simplest method. Consider the example. This side ABC is a source. X, Y, Z is the destination. The values of the matrix is A to X it is 18. A to Y 17. A to Z 16. 15, 13, 14, 19, 20, 20. So first check whether it is balanced or not. Here for that check the number of rows and check the number of columns. So number of rows is equal to number of columns. So you can write it as balanced. Balanced. So it is balanced because number of rows is equal to number of columns. Now for the solution of this find the row minimum. Again I am writing the same matrix. 18, 17, 16, 15, 13, 14, 19, 20, 20. This is A, B, C and this is X, Y, Z. Now find the row minimum. Row minimum. For the first row 18, 17, 16. The minimum value is 16. Next 15, 13, 14. The minimum is 13. 19, 20, 20. The minimum is 19. Now find the difference. That is 18 minus 16, 17 minus 16, 16 minus 16. That is each row minimum should be subtracted from the, that particular row. Hence we will get 3 rows are there and 3 columns are there. Row is A, B, C and the column is X, Y, Z. So see this 18 minus 16 that is 2. 17 minus 16 is 1. 16 minus 16 is 0. 15 minus 13 is 2. 13 minus 13 is 0. 14 minus 13 is 1. 19 minus 19 is 0. 20 minus 19 is 1. 20 minus 19 is 1. So you got this matrix. Now you find the column minimum. That is first you have to always find the row minimum. After finding the row minimum, subtract each value and get a new matrix and then come to the column minimum. Find the column minimum. Consider the first column 2 2 0 minimum is 0 1 0 1 it is 0 0 1 1 it is again 0. Now again as usual as we have done in the row, min row case subtract each column minimum value from the corresponding column value. Here it is 0 so no difference nothing will happen you will get the same matrix. So again I am writing it. Three rows, three columns, A, B, C, X, Y, Z. The values are 2, 1, 0, 2, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. Now we have to do row scanning. That is each row you have to scan and check whether, check how many number of zeros are there. Are there in each row are there in each row so if only one zero is there square that zero if more than one zero is there skip that row and come to the next row here only one zero is there two one zero so only one zero square that zero and cut the corresponding column that column is to be removed and then so you got like this again come to the next row 2 0 again only 1 0 mark it square it and then cut it again only 1 0 square it and cut that particular column so all columns have been removed now now check whether any unmarked zero is there or not 
here no unmarked zero all the zeros have been squared now find how many squared zeros are there how many squared zeros are there here 1 2 3 so 3 squared zeros and find how many rows are there here a b c so that is 3 so now it is okay the problem is somewhat okay now you have to find the solution so for finding the solution you have to write source to destination that is which source is related to which destination sources are a b c now come to the matrix a 2 1 0 5 find where that mark zero is there a 2 is said is zero so right here is said now go for b b 2 y is zero so y and for c c 2 x is zero c 2 x now you have to write the values so for that consider the original matrix the first question matrix that is a to z that is the first one a to z b to y c to x a to z a to z that is 16 so right here 16 b to y b to y that is 13 and then c to x and c to x c to x is 19 So you got a to z is it is it is 16 b to y 13 and c to z it is x it is 19. Now add them, you will get 48. You get 48, and that is rupees. Here there is a minimum transportation cost. This is a minimum transportation cost. So this is how type one method. can be done in assignment problem this is a simplest method find the row minimum subtract it and then find the column minimum subtract it and after that row scanning is there find or uh, the rows with single zero square it and cut the column and same way after that check whether the number of squared zeros is equal to the number of rows then proceed write the sources and write the destinations give the original values submit this is how minimum transportation cost can be found in type 1 method so in the next video i will go for a next next example one more example i'll go for thank you dear students